Well, Steve Greenberg is an experienced defence attorney. Uh, he's in Chicago with his reaction to Jeffrey Epstein's death. Uh, Steve, thank you so much for your time. First of all, uh, the Attorney General, the Justice Department, has had several things to say. Uh, one of it, which is that they think this raises serious questions. Uh, what's your reaction to that? Well, it's, it's shocking, frankly. A couple of weeks ago, he tried to kill himself. And I don't know how he would be in a position of trying to do it again. Usually an inmate like this, who's made a suicide attempt, is kept on a suicide watch for months, kept in what they call a special housing unit, or the SHU, uh, so that they can observe them 24 hours a day. My, my speculation is that there was some complacency on the part of the guards at the facility uh, where they were just, if this guy wants to kill himself, who are we to stop him uh, after all the things he's done, all the terrible things he supposedly has done? Well, we, we don't know what's happened, but uh, and there, obviously there's going to be an investigation. But you're an experienced uh, defence attorney. You're working on the R. Kelly case. H have we seen anything like this before? Well, we've certainly seen high-profile people uh, either get killed or kill themselves, um, but not in a federal detention centre like this while they're waiting trial. Uh, pedophiles are, are usually the most common. You'll see people who will post bond on cases, get released on cases, and then days before their trial, they'll, they'll kill themselves because they see the inevitable of their spending life in prison. Look, I don't understand why it doesn't happen more often, frankly, because the, the prospect of spending the rest of your life in a eight by 10 cell can't be appealing, and especially when you've lived a life of luxury. It does seem extraordinary, though, that something like this could happen, given uh, how many people were counting on this case continuing and the investigation continuing. Well, and that's why, uh, and I know some other people have said this, watch and see where were the guards when this was going on. At what point during the night did he actually kill himself? I know in these special housing units, the cells are virtually totally transparent all the way around. In other words, they're not walled cells. They're typically either bars all the way around or some kind of glass all the way around so the inmates can be watched. And, and that's why I say someone probably was happy to see this happen. There is uh, an investigation that's going to happen, according to the Attorney General. What do you think, uh, what other things they might be looking for? Obviously, they'll look at the guards, but generally, what kind of uh, elements will they be looking at so that this might not happen again? Well, I don't, I don't know what he used to kill himself. I mean, obviously, bed sheets would be what you would think of uh, someone using. But they'll look at all of it. They'll look at what kind of fabric are we making these things out of? Uh, why are there things in a cell that someone can hang themselves from? If he was able to hang himself from the bars, how come no one noticed, you know, someone tying themselves around the bars of the cell and then maybe falling over? Uh, they'll have to look at all of it. These facilities are packed with cameras, so it shouldn't be very hard to figure out what happened. Well, I'm sure uh, it's not the last we've heard on this case. Uh, Steve Greenberg, criminal defense attorney in Chicago, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.